What's up peeps? My name's Ian. I sell books on eBay. And so far today, we've sold a few, so I'll share what I've got going just now. I'll wait to get them packed up, and then anything else that comes through, I'll be back to talk about in the morning. So first, 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 we have the Giza Power Plant, Technologies of Ancient Egypt. To be honest, I find this stuff quite fascinating. Um, you know, really, how, how did they build all of these things? What were they really for? There seems to be a whole lot that we just don't understand. I'm not saying that it is some sort of crazy mystery and that uh, there were some super advanced civilization. I don't know. But it just feels like there's a wee bit more. And this book looks quite sciencey, you know, science based. So it might actually support a wee bit. Anyway, it sold for £15. So a nice wee one to go on its own. Picked up a wee stack of very similar titles a few weeks ago and that's them nearly all sold and nearly all sold for that same kind of price. Next, fantasy. Philip Pullman, his Dark Materials trilogy, uh, the original covers. So I made up, I've had Philip Pullman books listed for ages because I love them. So therefore everyone else should love them and if they haven't got them, should want them to read them and collect them. Not everybody does. They don't sell. I've had low prices on them, they've just not sold. So I took down all the dark material books I had where there was any kind of complete sets for a particular edition and I've listed up. And I've got three different editions listed as bundles and that's the original cover bundle. Uh, so that's the first of them to sell but they've only been listed a few days. 8 99 for three paperbacks. Not brilliant but I've got another four sets so it's a multi-listing and if they all go for nine quid for three books that's absolutely great as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to make two or three pounds per bundle. Next, we have Scott Mariani. <coughs> now, I've said it once, I've said it twice, I've said it three times. I don't know how many times I've said it. The, one of the benefits of the variation listings, any kind of multi listing, is it gets traction. Once people start buying from it, the algorithm says, ooh, that's a successful list and if somebody's looking for anything related to that we're going to put that in front of them because they click on it they are more likely to buy something and eBay is more likely to make money in fees it's that's their simple logic they want to make money so if you just put up a bundle of books once they've sold they're gone which is good from your point of view it gets things moving but as with the Philip Pullman books I can probably keep that listing going but I see I've started off with five sets I've got probably another two sets but I'm just missing I think the amber spyglass and that'll keep them going and you always see them they're always out there so I'll just keep picking them up and hopefully keep that listing topped up and it'll get momentum and go um, the what was the other ones yeah the Giza power plant book that I showed you I had one copy of that that listing's gone but if I had 10 copies of that it would start selling regularly from that one listing now that I've had the one sale from it. So it is, if, whatever you can get any kind of multi-listing going, do and keep it live, keep it going. Don't take it down, keep it going as far as you can. And Scott Mariani has proven just that lately. I had one sale, then another sale, then another sale. So that's zero for weeks and weeks and weeks, and then 15 books in three or four days. Uh, so 12 99 for the five of those paperbacks. That's, I got a big load of them, topped it up as soon as one person's bit. That's one visit has generated five sales as far as eBay is concerned. So it's not just one sale. Somebody's gone in and bought five separate books from that listing. So if I've had five visitors and one person's bought five, that's that 100% sell through rate, which is pretty good. You know, you can't really sniff too hard at that. Uh, but now I've had 15 sales from I don't know, maybe 10 visitors. Let's have, let's have a wee quick look and see if I can just see exactly what the demographics on Mr. Mary Annie are. As an example, right, first of all, I've got to find him and he will be here somewhere. I'm guessing he's going to be reasonably near the top because I've sold a few of them. Uh, yeah, come on, right, if I click on that, nah, it's not working that way, is it? This one's a bit of a pain. It only shows it on a another page. Anyway, 
Now, you just have to take my word for it. It works really well doing it that way. You get a really good sell through rate. I think I just saw them flipping past my screen. Let's see. Scott, Scott, Scott. If I don't find them quickly, I promise I'll give up and stop boring you with me just flicking through pages and pages. And ages and ages and ages and ages and ages. But I found them anyway. You might not have noticed, but I snuck away there and came back and found it. Right, I've got three Scott Mariani books left. That's that's what it's going down to. However, in the last 28 days, there have been a total of 94 page views, uh, then four external views, and I've sold 15 books. And that's actually just in the last week rather than even the last so many days. Um, so that's a 15% sales conversion rate over the course of a month which ebay is going to think is fantastic you know it's it's not going to go far wrong the philip pullman trilogy that i was just talking about it's at a 6.3 percent sell through rate so you can see where the difference lies um it's really quite dramatic what having that sell through rate can mean to what you need to do um i'm just going to flip this to sales in the last week and see what that does to the Mariani sell through rate because it's kind of intriguing of course I need to go and find it again found it again so in the past week was when the 15 sales have come in there's been 34 page views in total so that means it's got a sales conversion rate of 44.1 percent so the algorithm is going to be loving that listing anyone who's looking for Scott Mariani they're going to see that listing it's going to show it to them because there's a good chance people would go in and buy from it unfortunately i've only got three books left now so that's not going to work out too well going forward but it's just a really good example of what happens if you've got something that gets a bit of traction single listings with multiple items are definitely the best way to have a kind of steady continued success selling stuff on ebay or on any platform to be perfectly honest um, but that is just a really good recent example. I got that one sale through from about 10 to 15 views. So straight away, it's up nearly at 10% sale through rate. And then that's just gone up and up and up because people have bought another five books and another five books and another five books. And I wish I had more so they could buy another five books. I've actually just picked up one more Scott Mariani book today. So I'll be able to get that added into the listing as well. And then I'll have four books available, which isn't quite five. But it's better than three. Anyway, enough about that. I'm not even sure where I'd got to. Yes, final sale is final sale. It's a pre-made bundle, and it is three Celtic Football Club books. Uh, you are my Larson, the story of Seville over and over, and Celtic's lost legend, the George Connolly story. So we're getting to that time of year. My football clubs are getting ready to win titles. So it's looking quite good for it this year again. Uh, 12 99 for the three of those. So funnily enough, the Rangers books I've got ain't, don't seem quite as popular just now. On Jers, there's a the teddy bears. Buy your books, man. Uh, but yeah, three Celtic football books heading out for 12 99 Obviously, including postage. And I saw the orders I've got so far. I did do a wee pick up this afternoon, not nothing serious, just maybe 70, 80 books. Uh, about 40 of them were Mills and Boons, so I've got a whole load of those listings to make up again because they seem to be going okay. Um, and start of the month, I bought a few books new. I mean, just, just a handful, I think. What was it? One, two, four. Yeah, I think I bought four books brand new to read and uh, this was one of them well actually this isn't one of them because this is what I picked up in the charity shop today for 25 pence having spent about 6 quid on it just a couple of weeks ago so that's twice that's happened Lonesome Dove and this so about half the box I went box half the books I went out and bought new I've now picked up for you know 50, 60p for the two of them um, in the charity shops in both cases before I've got round to reading them so if there's something you really, really want, go and buy it and then you'll find it for dirt cheap and you can sell the dirt cheap one and get some of the money back on the one that you went out and bought. So I'm going to read this in May 
uh, I might actually read it before the start of May because I finished what I was reading yesterday. It's, it's annoying when you read a book in a day because it kind of throws it out of sync. Uh, no, it's not annoying, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm getting to this soon, so there will be a copy of it on my eBay store soon if somebody's desperate to go in and join me in that reading. S.A. Cosby, Blacktop Wasteland. Uh, right, I'm away for now. There may be more, there might not be. I'll catch you later. Another six-ish orders have come in over the course of the day, so let's take a wee run through those. A couple of things that I haven't sold before or for a very long time, so makes it a bit more interesting. Um, the first, first one, I think I know why this is sold. CJ Sansom, Shard Lake, I believe, is the dude on this. And anyone who's seen an advert on YouTube probably knows, is this Shard Yes, it is, Matthew Shard Lake. Uh, Shard Lake is now a new series, I think, on Disney Plus. So you can expect a wee bit of interest in these over the, the coming weeks, I would imagine. I used to have quite a lot of CJ Sansom. Um, I sold a lot. I've not managed to pick many up, so I'll be keeping my eyes peeled because I think there might be a wee bit of interest in this just because of the TV show moving forward. But the three of them, nine ninety nine for three paperbacks, so kind of the normal price. Next up, a pre-made bundle. Another one which I hadn't got round to actually wrapping and storing. Uh, Ellie Griffiths seems to be selling really well in the bundles. I've got bundles of three, four and five. And this is a bundle of five which has sold. So I feel like I've constantly got something stuck in my throat at the moment. Very annoying. Anyway, five of them, uh, $14.99 for those five there. So she seems to get a wee bit better price than just five normal paperbacks. Uh, another pre-made bundle. Another one I haven't had time to wrap. Now, again, I've got a lot of books by this author. I don't know if I've ever sold one before. Um, but she's got her trilogy, Kate Moss, Citadel, Sepulchre, and the first one in the series, Labyrinth. Now, I've got loads of these two, loads of these two, but I only had one of Citadel, the third book. So I've got my eyes peeled for that one. Try to pick up a few more so I can replicate this bundle a few times and just have, you know, the one listing, a multi listing, because I don't know how much I love, love those. But the three of them, 9 99 for three paperbacks. I thought it was a good idea to put them into a bundle that way so that they don't end up in a bundle of five because they're big heavy books and those three are just scraping in under two kilos all by them lumsums. One from the variation listings. A TikTok author. Well, that seems to be where it's got popular. Colleen Hoover. Do -do. Two paperbacks and a hardcover. So we've got Verity. It ends with us. And it starts with us, which has got... A really nice design around the edge there. Um, the three of those, ten ninety nine. So the hardcover. I always put extra money on a hardcover, just to cover postage costs as much as anything else. Right next, a wee kind of mixed lot. Thirteen pounds seventy four for this this five. These five. We've got three Douglas Adams. Dot gently. Hitchhiker's Guide and the restaurant at the end of the universe and along with those a couple of other classics 1984 by george orwell i like i like that edition i like the it's the papery type rather than the glossy you know the matte finish i do like that one uh, if i'd picked up i don't know if you can see the animal farm copy as well i might just have kept them for myself but as it is it's sold as part of a bundle and the complete lord of the rings paperback so Nice big chunky book, really dense text to get it all in there, um, but like I say, the five of those, £13.74, it would have been five books that size, that would have been an expensive one to post, but thankfully it was four books that size, and only one that size, so that'll go out under two kilos quite comfortably, as will this next order, and the last one I have to show you at the moment, although hopefully a few will come in overnight, and I'll be able to share them in the morning. And we've got five Wimpy Kid Jeff Kinney books. Um, I've got dozens of these sitting just now. They kind of go in fits and starts. Uh, if I sell one lot, I usually sell three or four in quite quick succession. So I'm hoping that's the case. I don't sell these for an awful lot of money. I have recently put the price up on them slightly, just because I had them for like two and two pound fifty. 
uh, regardless if it was a paperback or a hardcover or condition or anything so I've bumped the price up just a little bit and £11.49 for the five of those so that's still pretty good for five wee skinny kids books and that's all we've got so far catch you in a bit back again so it's Friday morning and I've got three more orders to just share with y'all before I stick them in the post and get everything sent away today the first one is a signed book Wonderland by Juno Dawson uh, best selling author of Clean and Meat Market so I, I had this sitting for a wee while and I never even realised it was a signed copy until I was having a quick flick through to make sure it was okay and I saw that fading through the page I thought oh god somebody's coloured this in but no it turns out it is a signed copy by Juno Dawson the author and they've even coloured in the rabbit head isn't that nice so it makes it a wee bit different from some of the others uh, and that's sold for £12 so a wee signed paperback not bad next we've got a wee three book bundle Janet Ivanovich who's written a whole big series of books seem to be some sort of kind of comedy romantic -y thriller types things but they're, they're numbered it's one for the money two whatever anyway this one's ten big ones eleven on top and twelve sharp so that gives you a kind of idea of what that's all about and the three of them went for £9.69 lastly finally the one at the end of the road a uh, vintage paperback from Witchcraft to Christ, My True Life Story by Doreen Irvin. Uh, again, one of these that, if it looks like a nice old vintage paperback, I'm just going to pick it up and see what the deal is. It is in really good condition. I mean, I don't think this has ever been read. Uh, I'm fair to even open it and check dates so I don't crack it. Sixth printing from 1973, which is the year it was published as well, so it was obviously very, very popular at the time. Um, and it's absolutely battered through. Where is it? As daring Diana, she followed a life of prostitution, striptease, drink and drugs, and eventually witchcraft, where she became queen of black witches. When freed from her sordid life and the power of demons, she became known as a trophy of grace. She now devotes her time and energy, attesting to God's love and pardon, which she experienced so richly in her life. So that was a bit of an interesting one. Turns out it sells quite well. £20 for that little paperback on its own so that's all of today's orders I might be back in the next couple of hours to show you one or two depending on what comes through but I'm not expecting to to be perfectly honest so bearing that in mind see you all tomorrow yeah why not let's see tomorrow goodbye